What's up guys? My name's Kira. I'm a professional volleyball player here in Europe. I've been doing that for the past 10 years. And today I'm gonna help you guys find the perfect gift for your volleyball friend, your volleyball person, your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your daughter, your son, your, anyone in your life that plays volleyball. Yesterday I made a video all about big gifts. Well, big as in like, they're a little bit more expensive, a little bit heavier on the wallet. So I thought I would make this supplementary video for some little mini gifts, some little just because gifts or stocking stuffers little things that volleyball players will appreciate and maybe find useful. So I think I have about 15 or 16 items here. I'm not gonna do them in any particular order. I'm just going to show them, talk to you about them and get on with the video. First up, a shower cap. <laughs> This one my friend actually gave me last year as a just because it was Tuesday gift and I use this a lot. We shower probably twice a day and sometimes you just don't want to wash your hair and you can't be bothered trying to keep it out of the way. So this is really practical, kind of silly, kind of fun, little gifty. Next up, not quite so silly, but just a little bit more practical are hair ties and bobby pins. You can never really have too many hair ties and bobby pins as a player because they get lost, they get left in places, they fall out of your bag, so they're always a good stocking stuffer idea. Next up, anything that is smelling good and feeling good on the skin. So I love Rituals lotions. Your hands get really dry in the winter and this is a good way to prevent them from cracking if you're a your setter and maybe you use your hands to play. Particularly from Rituals, everything in Rituals smells good so you can't possibly go wrong. Also for men, the men's stuff is good too. This cream is for specifically for feet and if you have dry cracking free, free feet. This is called Heal Genius from Soap and Glory and it's really good. Next up is a sleep mask. This is the most comfortable mask I have ever touched. It's so soft and so comfortable and you literally blacked out everything around you. I can't see anything right now. I no idea what's going on. But it also has little little holes for the eyes so your eyelashes don't get squished. Really nice foamy material and it's like a soft velvety. This is great for guys and gals. This particular brand is called Sleep Tight Mask. You can get them on Amazon and they come with a little earphones too. I use this for long trips. Anything on the bus, on the train, on the airplane, and then especially also when you get to the hotel and maybe you need to take a little cat nap. Maybe you don't have blackout curtains, but you got blackout face. Next up is a, I don't even know what you would call this. You use it to weigh your luggage. You press this button and then you weigh and it tells you how much and you can never get stung on paying for heavy luggage again because that happens way too often when you're traveling back and forth. Next up is a shoe bag. This is from Mizuno. I've had it for donkey's years. It's good for separating your shoes from the rest of your stuff in your kit bag because you never know what you've been stepping on. You might have gone to the bathroom and stepped in some little molecules of gunk and you don't want that next to your water bottle or your face towel, so just shoe bag, put your stinky shoes in it, separate them from the rest of your kit. Another good little gifty idea are some mm, elastics. I use these for warming up my muscles. I have tons of them, but maybe there's a younger player in your life that has not yet gotten into elastic band stretching for warm up, but it's a really good habit to get into and you can never start too young. <laughs> Next up, also not that exciting, but practical, a sweat towel. Because if you're going to training and you're getting hot and sweaty, you don't want to just be wiping your face and your t-shirt all the time, especially if you're female and makeup going all over the place or if you sweat a lot. I sweat a lot. So I always take a sweat towel with me. This particular one I've had since London 2012. It came with all of our Adidas kit, but now it's a little bit sentimental and I don't want to throw it away even though it's clearly past its due date. The next thing on my list is a little travel laundry bag. It's extremely practical, nothing exciting about it, but look how cute it is. It comes in this little bag, says laundry. I throw this in my kit bag when I'm traveling and then as the days go by and my stuff is sweaty and gross and needs to be separated from the rest of my stuff, it's just a little plastic bag. And then when I get home, I just take this guy with me straight down to the laundry and voila, easy peasy. This is something that you probably have not thought about for a player, but Dr. Scholl's insoles, floppy ones apparently. <laughs> Every time I go back to the States, I go into CVS or Walgreens and I grab a pair of these because I can't find actual Dr. Scholl's over here in Europe. They only have some knockoff brands and they're much more comfortable than the insoles of any of the shoes that I get. So when I get a new pair of shoes, I'll just take out the insoles that come in them and I'll insert these ones and it's just so much more comfortable. And the good thing about these is you don't need to know the shoe size of your person. You can just get a 
a, a guesstimate and then they just sort of cut it along these lines to fit their shoes. Very practical. Oh, this one is so practical and boring. Socks. <laughs> long white socks. Most volleyball player, maybe not most, but I play with long volleyball socks. Some players play with shorter ones, so maybe find out what length, like halfway through the calf or all the way up to the knee, what your player prefers. But <laughs> I prefer long ones and a good quality pair that'll last a while. I mean, this one, for example, the ones that have these little grippies on the bottom and have nice thick material, they're good. <laughs> Another daily use of mine are these little, these are little sacks, little sacks, <laughs> little satchels, little pockets, little, little things that you put in your shoes so they don't smell as bad. So these ones are little balls. I actually got these in my stocking. You can see they say something Christmassy on them. These are really, really handy and I recommend them highly. I've been using them quite frequently. Along the same lines as smelling good, little satchels, little pockets of smelly stuff for your closet so that when your clothes come out, they're still smelling fresh like laundry. Because you know when you wear these shirts to training, they just, they get a little funky after some time. They get a little bit of a stank to them. So this helps prevent that and keeps your teammates from hating you. Next up is a travel pillow. This is crucial if you are flying a lot, if you're taking the train, if you're on bus rides, this kind of thing comes in so handy. I've had so many bad versions of a travel pillow before that once you get a good one, you know what a difference it makes. Good quality foam and a nice soft exterior. Your person will be living in comfort. Hot water bottle. If you saw my other video of gifts for volleyball players, I included the Venom from Hyperice, which is a vibrating heating back brace. And this is the poor man's version of that. Just throw a bit of hot water in here and you can put it on any ailing muscles. Heat them up before training or after training or any time that you just feel like you need a little bit of relaxation, a little bit of R&R. &R. Very cheap, very useful hot water bottle. Last thing on my list is a travel size perfume. I often don't want to waste my good perfume, my day-to-day -day perfume or my going out perfume when I'm going to training. So if I can have some extras or a scent that maybe I didn't choose and is maybe not my romantic smell, but it's still good quality and still smells nice and I can wear it to training. Travel size is a must because you gotta be able to throw it in the plane as well. You gotta be able to throw it in your bag when you're going on the plane, not just throw it in the plane. People find that weird. This one was actually given to me by a fan last season and it reminds me that I have a fan. <laughs> That's it guys, that is everything I have for you. I really hope something you found useful in there and your volleyball person will surely appreciate it. Some of them are more practical, some of them are a bit silly, most of them just pretty cheap, cheap and easy. So if you haven't seen my other video about bigger gifts, I will link it somewhere, probably down in the description. <laughs> Feel free to subscribe or to like this or like this video if you want to. If you're interested in volleyball or if you know somebody else who is, send them my way and we can, we can, we can talk volleyball for days and hours and years and I'm rambling. I gotta go. Okay, bye. Today, before I don't know what I'm about to say. If you saw my video. Oh, how's my hair now? A little silly hair. What is that noise? So I'll just take out this in, inside one that I get from the shoe where it, there's a bug in here. <laughs> focus, focus, focus. Can you please focus? You have to focus. Can you just fucking focus, please?